My name is Mitra Mitchell, and welcome to the Theater of Painting. This show is entitled Playing with Fire, and we created an entire playbill for the show, which includes a cast of seven characters, the script, and the three acts of the play, which take us through the spooky forest, the witch hut, and finally, Candle Cave, where it all comes down. This is a show about transformations where all of the characters in our play fulfill their love of fate, their amor fati, and they learn how to be their own fire keepers. And everywhere in the haunted diorama, you can see fire is burning, it's thriving. And in some cases, it gets a little out of whack. The witch and the witch's assistant have to save the captive from the three worldly beasts who have run amok in the spooky forest. The werewolf represents greed, the leopard represents lust, and the lion who totally ends up out of whack in the story, he represents pride. Now, a normal amount of debauchery is perfectly acceptable in the parade of humanity where we live. However, they have run amok. So the witch and the witch's assistant realized something has to be done. They create the snake oil in the cauldron inside the witch hut. They need the snake oil, which is the power of imagination. And they deliver it quickly, as swiftly as they can, to save the captive from the greedy little hands of all of the little greedy little beasts. And then the stagnant energy is released and the captive is going to become free of all her psychic wounds so she can help all of her friends as well. We have to fulfill the love of fate so that everybody can contribute to positive transformations which will help save everybody in Shadowland because Shadowland right now is not doing very well. And one of the main reasons is because it's completely in a tornado of madness. And at the Witch Hut, we know how to welcome madness in a friendly manner so that we can also utilize logos to help transform and direct our energies. Because believe you me, we know the power of our energies in the Witch Hut. I got the idea for the show from the Theater of Painting. I always had wanted to bring together all of the models. We have seven different models who uh, were staged in the haunted diorama and made their way into each of the scenes of emotionality. And I wanted to bring together all the props, which many of the models uh, contributed. It was a community effort. And we played together in the witch hut and we concocted something special for everybody. Um, this is a show about transformations, as I said. However, it is not just about the power of imagination. It is very much reflective of reality. And one of our main goals with this show is to transform reality, to transition us from the neo-medieval times into a new renaissance. And painting is an important subject matter, especially now in the age of robot. I am a figurative painter. And when you go into the Beast of Painting, it's very important that you have a plan. And this also relates to logos, which means that you have to have disegno, which that's what Michelangelo said, you must draw, draw, draw. So the six large paintings in the show are represented in the six chiaroscuro black wax crown drawings that you see also in the far nook in the gallery. When you analyze those, they're all in black and white. You can see all the nine notes of value, the contrast, all of the illusions, and everything. And I've been able to translate that in pure color within the paintings. And so you see them literally come to life with the color. Those of us at the Witch Hut and those of us at Halska Gallery really hope that you come in and check out Playing With Fire in person. But if you can't make it out, be sure to check out housegallery.com because there you can also inquire and purchase any of the works that you see in the show that strikes your fancy.